Hi and welcome to part 3 of the CNC controller build. Today we're just going to concentrate on the extra relays that I put in my system. Let's begin. So what I did here was I added two green pilot lights. Call this number one. This one number two. And the reason I added these pilot lights, I wanted to know when my system was on, was I getting 36 volt output from these two power supplies. This is power supply one, which represents one. Power supply two, and that re represents number two. So what I did here, is I took two relays with a 36 volt coil. So that's the coil for number one. And that'll be the coil for number two. Now for this, the first part, it's really simple. All you need to do first is take your 36 volts, which is you have voltage negative, voltage positive, three terminals on each one. So for the first one, We're going to take a negative and we're going to connect it to one side of our coil, of our relay. For the second one, we're going to set, do the same. We're going to take one of the negatives off the 36 volt output. We're going to come up and put it on one side of our coil. Now remember, the reason these two coils are 36 volt in this situation is because I want to know on my power supplies that are feeding my stepper motors that I have 36 volts coming out of these because these could fail, fuse could trip and it helps me just determine where the problem is if I ever have a problem down the road. So what we do here is now we take a positive from the 36 volts we run that to the other side of our coil and we do the same down here. Take our positive and run it to our coil. And now what we do is we've got to find two sets of normally open contacts. I'll draw these down here. Okay, now that these are drawn in, our normally open contact points, my indicator lights are 12 volt. The reason my indicator lights are 12 volt, because I could not find any indicator lights that would operate on 36 volts, because if I could, I would have just taken my 36 volts out of each power supply and ran it directly. So, it costs a few dollars more to do this, but it's just something I wanted to do. So what you need to do here, is you need to take your 12 volts, we've already used points 4 and 5 up here, so we're going to take 12 volts off number 3, And you can jumper these and put them to one side of your normally open contacts. 
So this is your 12 volts supplying one side. Then you need to do the same for your 12 volt ground. We'll take terminal number four, we'll bring that down, and you put that you put that to one side of another set of normally open contacts and you can do the same jumper that down into another set on that one so now that you supplied your 12 volts to a pair of normally open contacts on each relay once you turn this system on this powers up, sends the 36 volts out closes the coils which close your contacts so all you have to do now is come out the other side and power up your lights. So for the first one, you're going to come off the other side of your normally open. You're going to go to one terminal on your light. You're going to do the same here. You're going to come off one side of your normally open, your ground. You're going to go to your light and then the same with your positives and you go to the other side of your light so you have 12 volts on that side and you have your ground here so the same thing here you come around and you have your 12 volts feeding your light and your ground alright so that concludes part three thank you don't forget to like and subscribe you can also follow my other channel where I do vlogs it's not a daily vlog I'll link it down below it's just a vlog for interesting things I do on occasion but once spring comes and I get working on my property and building my house and doing camping, the vlogs will become more daily. So, have a great day. We'll see you next Tuesday for the next video, part four.